Yeah, it's been exciting for them. What's the what's the challenge, I guess, or is there one of shifting kind of from camp mode to specific game prep, or what's that like in you, for you guys? For us, it's a, a heck of a lot easier because during camp, you know, Frosty, I mean, the whole playbook's open from day to day, and you know, when he's calling plays, it gets wild now. And so everything's available to us. Uh, then in game week, things get whittled down. You know, it's not as uh, much volume, so it's much simpler for us. You know? how, how would you characterize Adrian's camp in, to this been point? It's been really good. Uh, he started off where uh, he left um, from spring and even more so. Uh, he's been doing really, really, really well. Any particular yeah. areas? That just It's just everything. The, the, the command he has of the offense now, uh, more comfortable with everything we're doing, very similar to my experience with KZ down at UCF, you know, uh, protections, um, identifying things. Does he miss things? Yeah, he does every, you know, every now and then. But young cat's a sophomore, but um, that part of it, I'm just more comfortable, you can tell. And so Coach Ross mentioned on Friday that Adrian had some lessons that he still need to learn, talking about that situational scrimmage. I mean, what, what are those lessons, I guess, as you see it? Oh, you know, I mean, any quarterback in the country, regardless of what level they are, Pop Warner all the way to the NFL, can always get better at situation and contingency offense. And there was one instance where he probably could have used a little bit more, how would you say, speed <laughs> in getting out of bounds, so... Those sorts of things, just the, the intensity of, of, of a two-minute drill. What do, yeah. what do you? But think there wasn't much. Yeah. What has he added to his game? You said he's building off of the camp. Like, what is what has he added? Well, if I mean, from, from an effective domain standpoint, just the leadership part of it. You know, uh, Coach Frost wanted to accelerate that, and that was the challenge to Adrian. And I, I, I feel pretty good about the fact that uh, he met Coach Frost's expectations. From a psychomotor standpoint, just in terms of his stroke, he's added more juice on the ball. Uh, part of that is due to the work just from the mass that he's a gain from with Coach Duvall, but plus with regards to all the drills. Cognitive standpoint, you know, he's just, he's just got a, a, a better understanding and mastery of the playbook. The challenge from that standpoint now is to make certain that he's on the same page with Coach Frost during the course of a game in terms of when plays are called or plays are changed or something's added that we hadn't rehearsed. He knows exactly what Coach Frost wants. I just see myself as a conduit between those two cats, and it's really important for him to, to get there, right? Um, and then from a physical domain standpoint, you know, you guys have seen him, right? I mean, he looks, he looks good, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's, he looks a good-looking cat right now. So um, those are the things that have happened um, over the last uh, X amount of months. Yeah. Federal sounds yeah. like it's done really well. Is yeah, he, man. He, he's, he's, yeah, he, he's, uh, um, I think the last time Sip had uh, kind of described him as smooth, that's what I saw. And he's only built on that since the spring game. Uh, he's added more weight. And has managed uh, to keep his weight on uh, right now. But yeah, he's throwing the ball as well as he's as he's throwing the ball since I've been around him. Do you, yeah. Do you, go ahead, sit there. Do, you, do you have a decision at number two that you have to make at some point? Oh, I'm certain at some point Coach Frost will come to me like he did uh, last year, and we'll have a discussion about that. And he'll let me know what the deal is. If you know, we got to make sure Adrian's number three or whatever. <laughs> 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 you took a big dip. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, um, do you consider the depth that you have at that position right now to be a rare thing in you know in the context of what how quarterbacks behave in college football today? Well, with, I, their, with their patience. Yeah, that's a, that's a tremendous question. I don't, from the standpoint of. This is what Coach Frost envisions for us as we move forward over the course of our years, if we're fortunate enough to have uh, a lot of them. But we, we have a young room, so there isn't that dynamic where, you know what I'm saying? Um, so um, 
it's we feel really good about it. Fortunate that we're in the situation we are. Yeah, and I know Coach Frost does. Yeah. And mechanically, yeah, with Luke is. Uh, I know you say sometimes that first year you're kind of working through that. And yeah. How, how's he done? Does his oh, that progress man, that's ball? awesome. I'm glad you asked that. He's uh, gone just um, leaps and bounds. He worked on it uh, over the summer, and the fixes he's made are uh, intact. Now he just has to make certain that during the course of uh, a scrimmage or practice when we're in that, that, that it happens, right? And it's, it's been really, really, really good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited about that part of it. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thanks.